Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So before we begin, I want to remind you to join. You'll have access to the VIP club section. Here you will have all the tools necessary to make your picks. So the NFL season is starting for 2020 and we have plenty of great games in store. So we're going to take a look at some of them. We have five matchups we're going to look at in a full slate of games. So let's get started. I'm going to scroll down through here. See a lot of games here. First one we're going to look at is the Green Bay Packers and the Minnesota Vikings. The Packers went 13-3 last season and won both meetings between the teams last season. As you can notice here on the head-to-head -head matchups, Green Bay a 13-point winner on December 23rd and a 5-point winner on September the 15th. You look at the power ranking indicator, now note that this is from the end of last season. Green Bay was at plus 31. Minnesota was down here at plus 23. Notice here that the Packers are burning hot down. Minnesota averaged down. Again, this was at the end of last season. If you look at the odds for this matchup, 1.67 for Minnesota and 2.225 for Green Bay. So Minnesota is the favorite in this one. If you take a look here at the confidence in prediction, there's a 75% chance on this prediction, 21-20 for the Packers. And you can see the point spread is 2.5 with the Vikings as the favorite, and they have a 52% chance of covering that spread. If you're sitting the over and under in this game, notice that the Packers are playing in games trending under the line, and the Vikings are playing in games trending over the line as of the end of last season, so it's probably best to avoid the over and under in this one right here. We're not going to look at the volatility oscillator at the moment because that would show how stable the two teams are since they haven't played any games this season. It doesn't make sense to do that. So what I'm looking at here is I'm thinking that the Packers will edge out a win in this one, but the Vikings are covered. So I'm looking at like a, a one or two point win. Maybe I don't come from behind last second field goal to pull out the victory. Go down through to the next matchup we want to take a look at. See four slated games, New York and Buffalo, Philadelphia and Washington. That should be a good NFC East game right there. Here we go, Seattle and Atlanta. Seattle had 11-5 record last season, and Atlanta was 7-9, but they won their last four, and you can see the, because of the burning hot stats with that four-game winning streak, and Seattle was ice cold down. Look at the head-to-head -head matchup. You see that Seattle won last year's meeting by seven points on October the 20th. Seventh, you take a look at the power rankings indicator. You see Seattle is at plus 25, Atlanta at plus 19. Let's take a look at the totals predictor to bet the over and under. You can see that Seattle was playing in games trending under the line, and Atlanta as well. So that's a good indication to bet the under in this one. If you look at the odds, you see they're close. Seattle is a slight favorite at 1.85 to 1.995. And if you take a look at the spread here, you can see the point spread is a 1.5 in favor of Seattle. So what do you think as far as the, the outcome of this game? It, it should be a very close game. It should be a very entertaining game. But I'm looking for the Falcons to come away with an opening week victory by a very narrow margin, probably by a field goal. Chargers and the Bengals. Not going to look at that one. Arizona and San Francisco. Tampa Bay and New Orleans. This should be an interesting matchup. The Saints posted a 13-3 record last season and won both meetings between the teams. Tampa Bay went 7-9 last year, but added Tom Brady and Rob Brinkhouse. The big question is, though, what can these two uh, legends from the Patriots do to help Tampa Bay? How much do they have left in the tank? It'll be interesting to see what happens. You see both teams are average status at the moment. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups. The Saints won both beatings last season, 17 points on the road and 7 points at home. If you look at the odds here, the Saints are 1.550. They are a 3.5 point favorite. And you see here they have a 53% chance of covering that. And the odds here for Tampa Bay, you see, is 2.47. Confidence in prediction is a 29 to 24 prediction on the website here, and that's an 80% confidence in the prediction. 
if you're considering the over and under, take a look here at the totals predictor. You can see Tampa Bay played in games trending over the line by quite a bit, as did New Orleans. So expect a high-scoring game here. Betting the over is probably a wise decision. As far as the outcome of the game, I don't see that Tampa Bay is going to have enough firepower. Expect the Saints to come out and hand the Buccaneers an opening week loss. Next game is the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Rams. Last year, the Cowboys destroyed the Rams. If you take a look at this, it's a 44-21 margin back on December 15th. There was really no contest. If you look at this one here, you see that the Cowboys are ice cold up. The Rams are average. The Cowboys have uh, the favorite by 2.5 points. They had a 39% chance of covering that. They are 1.62 odds to 2.28. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that the Rams actually have the edge there at plus 18. The Cowboys were all the way down to plus 8. As you know, though, that was the end of last season. Things have changed during the offseason. So that could completely change the way we look at this matchup. If we're looking at the totals predictor to see if we're going to bet the over and under, the Cowboys are playing in games trending over the line. The Rams playing in games trending under the line by two points. Again, when that occurs, I usually t tend to avoid betting the over and under because it's just too unpredictable. I think the Rams should have enough in this one to reverse what happened last year and start the season at 1-0. The last matchup we're going to look at for the day is the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New York Giants. You see the Steelers are averaged down and the Giants are ice cold down. The Steelers finished the season at 8-8 eight eight, but lost their last three. The Giants showed very little in a 4-12 campaign. The Pittsburgh is a 1.41 to 2.86 favorite in this one. Um, you can see the line has not yet been set, but if you take a look here at the prediction, the website here, we have an 85% chance for the Steelers, 29-24 uh, to 24 victory. So it looks like we were thinking of a, a blowout in this one. Well, that very well could be. If we look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that the Steelers are much, much better at 20 to 7. If we're going to look at the Toys Predictor, can we bet the over and under uh, with much confidence? Well, look at this. The Steelers are playing games trending well, well under the line. Uh, the Giants barely over the line, but I'm thinking that this game will go under. Giants don't have a great offensive attack. The Steelers are good defensively. I think this will go under. But I'm looking for a Steelers win in a relatively easy, easy fashion on opening day. So there you have it. Those are the five of the matchups that we're going to look at for this week. Come back next week for more great picks. And hope you will bet well. And remember, we have everything we need. you need to win. Join up. Join the fun. Win big. And we will see you next time.